gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel That channel is Dev Chanel's 48's World And I want to thank you for all your support Your continued support and all the love you have shown me on my channel especially with those new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to like my videos, share my videos, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But I know you came here to see another musty video from your girl, Dev Chanel. Okay, but we're going to be talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta's co-star, one of them in particular. Okay, that's doing some damage over there. That's going to be lucrative for her, I'm sure, in some form, shape, or fashion. I'm talking about your girl Candy Burr sitting down, having a sit down on her YouTube channel. I think it's called Speak On It. If you haven't seen it, go on over there, subscribe, do what you got to do. Then come back over here and subscribe to me since I sent you. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. But she's over there having a conversation with none other than Bravo's Andy Cohen, executive producer of the Broadway, or I shouldn't say Broadway, Bravo, True Entertainment, um, franchise of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah, she's over there petitioning to bring Miss Marlo Hampton on over here to the Real Housewives of Atlanta stage as a full-time peach holder. Now, what is she doing? What is she doing? Is she breaking camaraderie between Nene Leakes and Marlo Hampton by trying to get Marlo Hampton a peach? Woo, question mark, as you can see. And, you know, Candy can get people together because she told uh, Kim Zoziak in the past that, honey, this is her house. She live here. Woo, and I guess she's referring to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Like, Nene always says she's the HBIC, but we pulled her player card from that title over here at Dale Chanel's world, uh, 48's world, until she can get herself together. But we're looking at Marlo Hampton, honey, bringing her on. And pretty much Andy Cohen is sitting down with Candy on her platform to tell why she hasn't gotten a peach at this time. Okay, and we're going to revel on that she hadn't got a peach at this time. But if you do see in season 12, she's definitely been getting a lot of play as uh, far as going out, seeing Wendy Williams, going out uh, on other platforms on national TV, talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta and how she's being put forward put forth into several different arenas where she's, you know, speaking out for them and on their platforms and going out doing interviews and talking about the show and this, that, and third. And of course, everybody loves Marlo. I know she had that infraction way back when, almost five years ago, if not a little over five years ago, when she used that dreaded word, the agate. You know, with the L, put the agate, you get it. She uh, got a little heated or whatever and got out of her mind and said the wrong thing. And it was televised, okay? But that's no worse than calling people iggers. You know what I'm saying? When they're not of that same race and you know how we get offended. We could be in our own culture calling it, you know, the N-word all day long. And it's just, you know, it is what it is, which we shouldn't be doing. But it just, you know, hey, we don't got used to it. We done accepted it. It's instilled in us. And sometimes we do slip up and say it. Not all of us. So don't get don't get to the point where I'm generalizing because I'm not. I'm saying some people. OK. Uh, and it's not offensive when I guess um, we deem it when our own culture, our own race is doing it to one another. However, it's in a loving form. OK, that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, but you process it the way you can process it. Uh, if you're from this culture, if you're on the outside looking in and you're not a part of this culture or race, then I think it could be a little confusing <laughs> for you to understand how we get down, okay? But like I said, I'm not generalizing. I'm just saying some people, okay? But uh, yeah, Candy is just stirring the pot. And like I said, it's time for forgiveness. We all, well, I mean, I generalize. Some of us have said some demeaning words towards another race or culture was it right. No, it's not. But if they come on the forefront, they did it on the forefront, they come back on the forefront and apologize for it, you know, everybody should be forgiven, okay? Because, hey, racism has been out there. Discrimination have been out there. Inequality for some races have been out there, and especially gender bias things have been out there negatively for women to, you know, be seen and heard in a man-dominated world, you know, so... Some things that some people have to be forgiven, but when they keep on doing the same thing over and over, over again, then you know it was a, it was an a genuine, a genuinely 
uh, ask for forgiveness. They just said it because they were trying to get out the hot seat or something or whatnot. And then you could call the spade a spade after that point. But I haven't heard, I really didn't hear Marlo say it from the get-go, but I wasn't really following her at that time. So I don't know what could have transpired. I'm just going on what I'm hearing out there in the streets. And it's uh, a pretty good consensus out there to say she did uh, make a mention of that agate word. And, you know, she feels somewhat about it, some some negative way about it, and she's very sorrowful. And my lawyer, a, 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 a lot of people from what I'm seeing out there, it seems like they have forgiven her. I mean, she's still on the platform uh, where she's rubbing heads and, and shoulders and giving hugs here and there to people that she once demeaned at one time. So I think it was just a lack of judgment. And she was so used to saying it behind closed doors when certain situations, you know, made itself available and she didn't mean for it to get out. And that's just like some people who are down low racist. You know what I'm saying? They say what they say in public just to get them uh, navigating through the stream, stream line of just society and, and, and moving and shaking. But then when they're in their own uh, plastic type of uh, environment and they trust everybody not to repeat anything they say, you know, they be using a lot of the N words and everything else. Or, you know, for other minorities as, you know, uh, lingo out there for the negative, like spicks or spades or, you know, people like that. You know what I'm saying? They said so they, they, they kind of do it behind closed doors and don't ever want it to get out. But to say that, to say this, Milo seems like she's coming from a genuinely uh, loving place. And like I said, she was out there gay pride out in New York. She probably visited some in Texas, probably done done it here uh, and participated in uh, equality, equality for everybody. That's a human being in a sense, not just the LGBT community, not just the heterosexual people. Uh, or any other section of people we got out there. She, you know, she seems like she's a genuine person, loving person. She wants to just everybody to love on each other, regardless of race, color, creed, whatever. Okay, so I say let's forgive her, y'all. Let's forgive her. Let's just turn a new lease. Say, okay, Marlo, we're gonna forgive you this time. Don't go, don't go get upset again and let that act word come out you. Because you ain't gonna only have the LGBT community at you. You're gonna be having some heterosexual people after you too looking like are you crazy are you crazy <laughs> that is not political correct you should not really be feeling that way in your heart especially if you're running with them in the streets wanting them to be your friend on camera and they teaching you their lingo and telling you uh this that and that and 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 improving your knowledge about their culture and then you going around slapping them in the face with you know meaningless words negative words like that now okay Marlo, so you've learned, you lived, and you go on. Okay, I forgive you. So I'm like, hey, don't let me come back and snatch your card for being a human being, okay? So we're going to say that to say this. We're going to get on into this article. Yes, Candy Burris is uh, mending fences, throwing all her branches, and she's setting up her team. Okay, I can't hear that girl be moving in silence. But I be people gang it. And I got to tell my viewers to come on the show so they can just be as smart as I can. I see what you're doing, girl. You want to sit at that board table. You want to eat at that board table. So if you can get us salacious stories going on between a group of women and run them ratings out the roof, and they can say what well, Candy was instrumental in playing this part and putting this setup together, let's toast her up. <laughs> she ain't got to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta no more. She could be like the overseer. She could be someone like Andy Cohen, okay? Girl, I see you. I ain't, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Can't go on and make your cards behind the scenes, on the scenes, in front of the scenes, however you get down. Because I know you just want one of them speaking jobs where you sit up there and have your little talk show uh, and you're hosting people, bringing celebrities on. Kind of like a Queen Latifah type sit down, meet and greet, or a little Ella DeGeneres type of show. I see you, girl. I see you bringing on new acts, producing new acts. Girl, I'm here for you. If you ever catch this video, you know I was there for you and I will pump you up when I was peeping day. So, hey, if you want to look me up to do some advertisement or coming up, boosting you being your little uh, hype girl, I'm there for you, honey. I'm there for you because I've been covering y'all for a long time. Sometimes I agree with y'all what y'all do on TV. Sometimes I don't. But, hey, I'm kind of like an overseer of your demeanors when you're out there acting foul. But I ain't get, I can't say too much about Candy Birds. No, I can't. Because she handling her marriage, she handling her family, and she handling her business where she making her dollars. Okay, not coins. We don't want the coins to click clankers in there. We want the rustling of some bills. So we ain't going to ever talk about no coins. We're going to be talking about dollars over here. Where is the dollars? Show me the money, the greenbacks. Oh, that roughly... 
Ooh, bills, not them click clank cars. Now we can't do nothing with those, but save them, put them in the bank, and turn them into some co uh some dollars. Okay. But anyway, let's get on into this article. It was written by Tia Berger over there at the Latter Black Star. She's showing her uh, writing skills and giving us out a pumping hot story where we can take on, step on it, and then talk about it in our own fashion, our own opinionated voices of how we see what she brought out to us. She gives us a title as She'll Never Get One. Fans react as Andy Cohen explains to Candy Burris why Marlo Hampton has not received a piece. Okay, let's get on into it since it's brought to us, all right? It goes without saying Marlo Hampton is uh, intricate. Well, that's what they went to say, but they say intrinsic. But just say she's a valuable piece of advertisement that they like to use from time to time. Okay, that's how I'm getting it. If y'all see something other, let me know. But he goes on to say, intrinsic to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. But many viewers wonder if she'll ever become a full-time cast member. The television personality first joined Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2012 as a friend to co-star Nene Leakes and has made frequent appearances on the show for multiple seasons. Therefore, the question is lingering as to why Hampton has yet to earn a peach. Well, let's get on into the article a little further. Maybe it'll tell us. All right, moving back to the article, not my sidebar. It says, thankfully, fellow co-star Candy Burris helped clarify the confusion after she sat down with Bravo host and Real Housewives of Atlanta executive producer Andy Cohen on her YouTube channel, Candy Online. Okay, I thought we would speak on it was the title, but now she's trashed it to Candy Online. Well, okay, girl, do your thing, do your thing. I ain't mad at you. Okay, but it shows me that she is trying to get into the television scene and the talk show host type of forum platform. Uh, and I think she did try to get that uh, job opening that was out there on the, uh, what do you call it, the Michael Strands and Sarah show, but they chose Kiki Palmer over there to fill that position instead of Candy. Like I said, that is definitely my speculation. That's my assumption, okay? Don't hold water to it. Don't even put a candle and burn it. <laughs> Okay, for clarity and enlightenment. All right, don't do that. That was just me peeping game and giving you my opinionated opinion. Okay, uh, not a part of this article. That's just my sidebar. Okay, but we say Andy Cohen on her YouTube channel, Candy Online, earlier this week. He devotes the reason why she hasn't brought Hampton Oh, the reason why he hasn't brought Hampton on a full time cast as a full time cast member. I think it's preliminary to say that she's never going to get a peach. Basically, my sober, he's saying, OK, she ain't going to get one right now. But well, we're working on it. We ironing out some details. So never say never. We won't say she won't ever get a full time position offered to her. We're just in talks. That's what he pretty much said. But getting back to what the article was written and said, uh, I think it's preliminary to say that she that she's never going to get a peach. The Watch What Happened Live host said, I was telling Marlo at Gay Pride, she was on our float. The night before I was at this gay hip hop party and I was leaving very late and these guys were outside and they were like, give Marlo a peach. It was awesome, he explained. Cohen went on to say he and the behind the scenes team haven't come up to a consensus on bumping up the serial entrepreneur from friend status to housewife. So we still got some little um, people on probably his um, platform that directs the show as well as him. And they're putting in his ear probably the negativity she bought by saying that word uh, agate at the wrong place at the wrong time and it uh, upset a few uh, important people up in their platform area um, and they haven't forgotten about it and I guess they're going to make Marlo jump through a lot of hoops before they forgive her and give her that granted peace. Now that's just my sidebar. Uh, I'm looking into the situation further on in my mind not actually doing any <laughs> real hard research uh, on that, because I'm pretty sure, like I said, Marlo's made for good drama TV, and she gives the people what they want. So, yeah, 99.9% .9 she will get her peach in 2020. Uh, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, but going back to the article, it says, um, it's not that I don't love her, but she's all over, wait a minute, it's not that I don't love her, but she's all over the show. That's why I think sometimes people get hung up on semantics. Cohen, Cohen continued. 
Well, you know, sidebar Cohen, Andy. No, people don't get hung up on semantics, okay? They get hung up on full-time, part-time status. There is a big difference, okay? She wants the same uh, paycheck and playing time as the rest of the people, especially when she does bring the ratings a little bit up when she comes in with her craziness, okay? When she wants to bring a story to fruition, whether it's true or not, she does bring it with class and clarity, <laughs> Class and clarity, people. Okay, but going back to the article says, and the housewives is not indentured, indentured servitude. It is not something that you know people volunteer to do. So trust and believe that people are being taken care of in one way or the other. So basically, my people uh, that like the peep game, what he's saying, she may not have a title, but she's probably getting close to that title money. And that's just going to have to do at this time. Okay. But going back to the article, uh, it says she has a great attitude. I feel like everything's cool. Fans of Hampton had mixed uh, reactions to Cohen's explanation. Promote her. Marlo has always been my favorite. This is a com commentator or commenter on um, the post of the article that was written. Uh, she said she should get a peach over even, and that ain't nothing but the truth right there. That's just my side, boy, because Eve ain't bringing nothing but a lot of lies, a lot of drama that we don't really care to see. You know, it's like that 513 shit, put it in the garbage can. We don't want to hear it. It has no validity. It don't even have no energy that you want to spark to try to find some validity or credibility in her stories that she gives us or her storyline that she tries to play. Like, it's one I'm going to bring out. Uh, <sighs> Probably sometime today or tomorrow because I got all my new equipment and we're trying to set it up where you all can see me uh, on screen along with my video uh, footages. So we're working on that, me and my daughter. But honey, she got engaged yesterday. This is my sidebar, people. I'm sorry. I do that from time to time. She got engaged uh, on Thanksgiving night. And, you know, it's just really, you know, a lot of hollering, a lot of crying, a lot of laughing. No, joyous moment. So, yeah, she's 28, finally got proposed to um, the love of her life. He gave her a little poetic type of, uh, not what do you call it? He proposed to her on one knee, and then he got up and poetic uh, justice her. <laughs> he he uh, memorized the poem he had wrote for her, and it was so sweet. I was like, man, we ain't in church. Uh, you know, we ain't trying to watch you give us all that right now. <laughs> I like what my signal school just for tripping, but anyway, he is a good fella, like him, love him. He's a son already to me, so uh, I wish him well and all that good jazz. But yeah, she got proposed to last night, so that was nice. She has it on her Instagram and Facebook account, so <laughs> just look her up. I think she goes on the Star Trek Crazy, and that's her YouTube claim to fame as well. So, but anyway, that was a uh, good excitement. And love that was spread through our holiday cheer. Hope you all had a very nice uh, Thanksgiving as well. But anyway, getting back to this article, uh, it says, well, yeah, I was, I'm sorry, I got a sidebar. I got confused there and lost my train of thought. Yeah, I was going to do an uh, uh, on-screen type of uh, commentary about Eva sitting around here, um, set, you know, talking about she bought a house, but she want all of this hush hush and and security need to be of the utmost importance uh and paramount in her life because her ex-husband Kevin McCall out there running the streets talking about he want to get a hold of her and do all crazy things to her but she plastering where she live and where she don't uh bought a house at and all I mean a picture of a house and everything and, and indications of little uh, marketing ploys that they use when you buy a house, you know, like say private residence, you hold up these different signs, you know, uh, even a, a, a bad detective could, can go find out where she stayed with all the clues she dropped in this uh, little video she did on her social media platform. I like Eva, girl, if anybody is scared, they on, they kind of much so in the witness program uh, type of situation and, and they definitely ain't on no high profile uh, reality show. And then you talking about you scared for you and your family. Girl, go sit down so well. But anyway, that didn't even end this. But I was going to cover that being on uh, camera where y'all can see all my antics and my facial expressions and all the things I probably want to do uh, to entertain y'all. Okay, and entertain myself. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, y'all look forward to that. Um, I'm excited about that as well. Because I thought all this stuff I was going to get was going to happen next year. 
say God is good all the time. I tell you, you got to trust in him uh, for all your understanding and all your uh, issues you have going on. All right. But anyway, going back to the article, it says fans of Hampton had mixed reactions to Cohen's explanation. Promote her ASAP. Marlo has always been my favorite. I bet y'all say, hey, now if you get that dog to shut up, that'll be cool, too. And I want to. I, I, you know, I, I think about trying to get a mask for him on the muzzles, but that seems to be so inhumane, you know. But anyway, we'll probably work on that later on or something to keep him from getting in my way when we're taping. But I don't have to hear all that because I know it, it kind of can be distracting. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, uh, she should get a peach over Eva. But Marlo is taking, or Marlo is being taken care of. That means she's still getting her coins, peach or no peach. I love it. Okay, Marlo, another commenter said, it's too much of a liability. She'll never get one plus. She said the F word a few seasons ago, and Andy isn't going for it. Now, that F word was the, you know, the bomb, the agate. Okay, put it together, you get what? All right. So, uh, Marlo shouldn't care about getting a peach, another com commenter said. She's getting paid and don't have to tell anyone uh, women. She's getting paid and don't have to tell any of her life. It still would be nice to see her get one anyway. All right. Then it's another commenter responded. What happens? What Hampton thinks about being giving a peach remains unknown. She did, however, respond to Burris and Cohen interview with three emoji hearts. So I was like, OK, she see Andy trying to work things out with his people. And Candy is trying to be on that rampage. You know, she brought Kenya Moore back. Now she's trying to get Marlo Hampton on the, on the stick. And I'm like, shoot. Is Candy trying to start something between them housewives? Women to drive them ratings off the roof. Is she trying to do it? Well, she can, kind of. She can sit Marlo, I mean, um, Eva down and put her as a friend of the show or dismiss her altogether. Her services are no longer needed. Okay. But that's just my pun intended. I don't know what they're going to do with Marlo, but uh, definitely uh, an, an evil situation. Because I know uh, they usually like to have a six woman format. And I don't know if they're going to pull out the hat and bring an eight format like they do on uh, Platonic uh, Girl Group. <laughs> but uh, it just, it'll be nice to see. Um, since Eva act like she got other things she can do to make money. Oh, this is just excuse her all together and put Marlo in that uh, line up. And we'll just see how long their friendship will last between Nene and her. <laughs> so, Ken, I see what you're doing, girl. You're trying to bring that drama to keep them ratings up, 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 up. And if you can become a part of that executive team that make and shake and bring on people higher and fire. And in that type of situation, sitting at that boardroom, girl, I see you. You would never have to appear on the show again because you're going to get your check and then your life can be yours once again. Okay, I know it, girl. I know. I see you. I see you. But that's all I have for this particular, particular article that Atlanta Black Star brought out on behalf of their commentary person or, or journalist, Tia Berger. Of course, I should say, uh, on her title, she'll never get one. Fans react as Andy Cohen explains to Candy Burris why Marlo Hampton has not received a peach to this day. But don't say never, say never. Okay, but like I said, I think she'll get one 2020. And we just have to be patient and wait and see those uh, developments unfold. But you all have a blessed night, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. I know I ain't perfect, but I'm just telling how it be. Thank you.